it's good to be with you. Welcome to Class Outside. Today, we are going to learn how to set up the 360 media player and view 360 photos and videos inside a VR headset. For this experience, a computer will run the 360 media player application. This computer should also have the 360 photos and videos you would like to view. The virtual reality headset will connect to this computer over the network and view the photos and videos. To run this project, we will need a computer and a VR headset running on the same network. The VR headset must have a somewhat recent Chromium-based web browser. This includes recent releases of the MetaQuest browser, Google Chrome, or Microsoft Edge. We will need some 360 content. The file types currently supported are JPEG and PNG for photos, or MP4 for videos. Lastly, we will need the 360 media player files. These can be downloaded for free from GitHub, linked in the description. The first step is to download the 360 media player files from GitHub. Once there, you can click the code button and download the zip file. Once downloaded, right click and extract the file. Move the extracted folder outside of the downloads folder to a place that it can stay. I might recommend your user folder or a subfolder called programs. Then go into the folder for your current operating system. Double click the installer file. If you are using an operating system that is not Windows or Mac OS, you may have to manually install dependencies and generate the necessary security keys. Once the installer is open, click install. From here, the installer will attempt to download and configure the software necessary to run the media player. This includes software such as Node Version Manager and Node.js. These programs are used to host the application and share the files over your network. The installer also generates security keys for the application. These are necessary to run the application on an HTTPS address which encrypts some of the information. The installer will check if your system has the required software, and if not, request to install it. You will need to proceed and follow the steps to install the required software for this project to work. The installer may ask to be restarted. If so, close the installer window and run it again. Then select the install button and the installer should continue from where it left off. Throughout the process, the installer will also ask for approval to install these dependencies. Once everything is complete, we can run the application. It is important to be aware of security. This application shares photos and videos over a network. Please be mindful of the network you are on and who has access to it. If you are on a private home network and you trust the security of the people and devices with access to it, you should be okay. If you are on a public network, like that of a library or a coffee shop, you may risk exposing your device to unintended people or malicious actors. While this software is intended to be used in safe environments, it is not provided with any guarantee of security. Once prepared on a network that you trust, double-click the 360 Media Player file to start the application. In the new window, click Select a Directory and browse to the folder that has your 360 photos and videos. Then click Start. The window should display both an address for the 360 Media Player as well as something called the 360 Media Provider. Please keep this open for as long as you intend to use the program. Put on your VR headset and open the web browser. You will need to access both of the addresses at least once to accept their connections. These addresses should each be the same, just with a different number towards the end. Visit the media provider first. Make sure you enter the full address, including HTTPS and the number towards the end. You will need to accept the risk. This is because we are encrypting our own data with our own keys. For something like internet banking, accepting this connection could be very bad. However, for sharing photos over a private network, this is often acceptable. Once the connection to the media provider has been accepted, proceed to the 360 media player address. Again, accept the risk and continue. And now it should load. From here on, you can just connect to the 360 media player address. You should only need to access the 360 media provider address and accept the risks when the installer is run again, or you attempt to connect from another web browser or device. Look at that. You should now see the file explorer for the folder you selected earlier. Let's click the VR button and really make this 360. We can enter folders and select an image to view it. Once loaded, we can see it all around us. 
The menu can be hidden by pressing the A button. Look at this beautiful place. We can even move between files by moving the joystick left and right. We can summon the menu back to our view by pressing A again. Our folder is broken up into pages, and we can use the arrows to go to the next one. We can go back up a folder. Let's check out this video. For videos, we can pause, play, and scrub the timeline. Now that everything is installed and working, we can do just a couple of things to make next time much easier. I would suggest bookmarking the 360 Media Player address. This should make it easier to return later. I would also suggest creating a shortcut for the 360 Media Player. The file must not be moved, but the shortcut can be placed anywhere to quickly access the program. Now, next time you want to run the 360 Media Player, all you need to do is double click the shortcut, select your directory, if you don't want to use the previous one, and access the bookmark from your browser. And look at that. Together, we have installed and used the 360 Media Player. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Have a great day, and thank you for attending class outside.